On Thursday night, Alabama executed Ronald Burt Smith Jr. Uh, so listen to what happened next. And remember, this is 2016. They say, Shortly after the executioner administered midazolam, the first chemical in a three-drug cocktail, Smith struggled for breath, heaved, coughed, clenched his fist, raised his head, and opened his left eye. His lips also moved, but he could not speak, and he appeared to react to both consciousness tests that a prison guard performed. However, prison officials went ahead with the execution anyway, administering chemicals to paralyze Smith and stop his heart. The Supreme Court permitted the use of midazolam in a 5-4 to four decision in 2015, though the drug appears to have caused multiple botched executions by failing to render an inmate truly unconscious. In dissent, Justice Sonia Sotomayor excuse me, noted that the three-drug cocktail administered to Smith may be the chemical equivalent to being burned alive. Hours before the execution, Smith had asked the Supreme Court to halt his execution, given the known problems with midazolam. The court refused. It seems quite likely that Smith was at least partly conscious when he was given the second and third chemicals of the cocktail. If so, he experienced a slow and brutally agonizing death, but could not express his pain because the second chemical had paralyzed him. What we're doing today is more barbaric than the old school beheadings with the guillotine. It's more barbaric than the firing squad. It's more barbaric than the gas chamber. What happened was uh, the, the company that made the lethal injection drug cocktail, it's three drugs, they stopped making it. It was a European company. They said, look, we don't have the death penalty here. Almost every modern nation doesn't have the death penalty. So we don't want to be involved in this. We don't want to be complicit. We don't want blood on our hands. We're not making it anymore. Well, in the U.S., they flipped out. They're like, well, we, we still want to kill people. <laughs> so we got to get our drugs from somewhere. So what have they been doing? Experimenting. They've got new sedatives slash tranquilizers, new paralytic, you know, new... There's, again, three. One that sedates you, one that uh, paralyzes you, and then one that kills you. That's the drug cocktail. What they're arguing here is the first drug, the sedative, doesn't really sedate you well enough. So... As you appear like you are sedated, and as you appear tranquil, you're not. You can experience everything going on. They say, no, that the way the old cocktail worked is, at least the argument was, it was significantly better, where it actually did tranquilize you and sedate you. So almost like you go into a sleep state. This does not put you in a sleep state. And then they give you the second drug, which paralyzes you. And then they give you the third drug, which kills you. Now, if you don't get that first drug right and you don't sedate them or tranquilize them, what happens? They're awake and conscious, and then you paralyze them, and then you give them the drug that kills them. The entire time, they could be feeling excruciating pain, but they can't express it. They can't express it because they're paralyzed. That You gave them a drug that paralyzes them, a paralytic drug. So you could be sitting there like this, and you're in excruciating pain. That's why... There were stories from when they had done this in the past few years, like two or three executions in the past few years, where we had to cover the story where people were foaming at the mouth, eyes were turning red. They called off an execution after they had already given all three drugs at one point. Why? Because the person's vitals were still there. So they gave him the sedative, it didn't really sedate him. They gave him the, the, the paralytic drug, they were paralyzed, then they gave him the drug that killed him, they didn't die. They heard... <laughs> They heard that kind of a noise for like 20 minutes. Look, if it's me and I was on death row for any reason, I would say, I, I don't do a firing squad, bitch. T right here. Get me right here. Firing squad. Let's end this. Matter of fact, give me three shots for good measure. Give me two in the head, one in the heart. Let's end this shit. Do it that way. Now, uh, so why do we do it this way? We do it this way because it made us feel better. We're killing somebody, but you know what? It makes me feel better if we just make it look like we're putting them to sleep. So with the old lethal, uh, lethal injection cocktail, it, it would work like that. It would just look like, oh, you put them to sleep and that's it. So we all, oh, we're so humane. We put you out, but we put you out in a way where it looks like you're just sleeping. Well, now we know that's a fucking sham. They're, they're, at least in this, with this new cocktail, they're feeling it, son. They're feeling the pain. 
I would rather get shot. But no, we can't shoot because we don't want to hurt. We don't want to hurt our own feelings about this. By the way, I wouldn't even have the death penalty in my ideal system because we get the wrong people from time to time. So I can't have a system that kills the wrong people, then the system's committing murder, and you gotta give that system the death penalty, ironically. So, this is unacceptable. This is 2016, and this is, we're killing people, and we're killing people like this. I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words for how barbaric this is. So we're gonna lecture other countries about freedom and democracy and human rights and altruism and humanitarianism. Meanwhile, we got Guantanamo Bay open. We tortured people and then didn't prosecute the torturers. At least 20% of the people we tortured were totally innocent of any, any wrongdoing. Killed people by torturing them. We spy on everybody and their grandmother, collect all the metadata. This is what the NSA does. We're waging seven offensive wars against countries that didn't attack us. Seven. Seven interventions we're doing. Two full-scale wars, seven interventions. And we're killing people and putting them through excruciating pain. And we're going to turn around and say, Ah, let me tell you guys. We're the world police. We're going to tell you what morality is about. Pipe down, fuckface. Get your own house in order and do it now.